All right, let's just try this. Oh, he's coming over. Hi, buddy. Press E to see if Lizard Doggo has found anything. Uh, Doggo with long name. Nice. Okay. We're going to call you Popsicle. There we go. Hi, Popsicle. Ha ha ha. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory on the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to build a road up north so that we can grab sulfur and um, quartz and more coal. That is the plan for today's episode, and I don't know why the hell I'm running down the road when I have hypertubes. Um, I have the parts to uh, set my Explorer up uh, if we need it, uh, so I'm just kind of carrying that in my pocket right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our uh, the end of our current road, which is right here at this stamp, and we're going to build further east and then start shooting north. Uh, uh, and our farthest target is right here on this ridge here where we have two uh, pure quartz notes. So that's what we're going to do. I'm probably just going to put Mark 1 miners on the quartz and on the sulfur because we don't typically need that stuff in huge quantities but we'll put mark two miners of course on the coal that is the plan anyway okay so we are at the end of the road we're at the end of the road um and what i'm gonna want to do is get up high enough to where we're just above the tree line so we don't have to fight with a bunch of trees and also our miner here is right in the way not that that's a brilliant that big of a deal we can deal with that uh, so I think what we'll do here is I did bring yeah okay it's gonna say please tell me I brought biofuel with me um We could either come in over the top of the miner. Yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do. All right, so let's let's do that, and then oh, what happened? There we go. Get rid of that. And then we'll zoop this, get up on this little cliff here and oh we need to go vertical there we go okay um let's climb up there and see if that's high enough to clear the top of the miner it is okay so what we'll do is we'll just come right over the top of it and then use a lift to drop down onto the conveyor belt from there. Uh, plus this gets us up pretty high, um, at least for going through here above the tree line. Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna uh, we're just gonna shoot to the east, um, and let's just use the, our usual one meter foundations. And I need to sweat this back to zoop mode. So we'll go a couple zoops this way and then see if we can kind of determine, um, you know, when we want to cut north here. This is really cool in here, man. This is, a, I think this is called the, the red bamboo forest or something like that. Uh, okay, so let's look north. Where we're ultimately aiming for is right here so if I if I put my cursor there 
our coordinates are about s roughly 677, seven, minus 677. Seven. Um, okay. And I am currently, does it say where my coordinates are? Maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't see where it shows my coordinates. And of course I can just hover my cursor over there too. So we, it was basically about 677. Seven. So we want to go right to this, maybe just a tad to the left center of this little pond right down here, uh, which I believe is that pond right there. Okay. I mean, uh, whoops, I, I don't have to get this perfect either. We just need to be close enough, you know. Um, so, all right, let's stand right in the center of this tile and that's six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty close to where we want to be. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head this direction. Um, oh, that's weird. There's a summer sloop just floating in the air up there. Um, we're gonna get into some bamboo here, but if it's just bamboo and not like big trees or terrain, I'm not too worried about that. That's bizarre. It's almost like there's supposed to be something here. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed Weird. With harvest before it's too late. Okay. Anyway, let's forget about that for now. But yeah, it's almost like there should be some terrain there that that's resting on, but the train didn't load in or something. Um, that is a little concerning, though, because... Hmm. What if that uh, causes us problems later, you know? Can I um, chainsaw this from all the way up here? I can. Look at that. Nice. Uh, okay. It looked like it was letting... Oh, okay. Try it again. There it goes. Okay. It had to be on the right spot, maybe, or... It might have something to do with the breeze blowing, blowing in the trees there. All right. Well, let's just go down and do it down here. These don't all come up as one big bunch like most other things do. That's interesting. All right, so we want to... We pretty much have to take this whole clump out here. What if we do it on the bush? Nope, that doesn't matter either. All right, if I would have known what a pain in the ass this was going to be, I would have raised the damn thing up. <laughs> Because normally when you saw something, it takes a big clump of stuff away. Like it just did with those bushes. But for some reason, the bamboo is its own its own thing. All right. I think we're finally clear. That was entirely too realistic. <laughs> it's like cutting down actual individual bamboo trunks. Um, okay, so... Let's see here. Uh, this will just ladder back up. Okay, that, that thing can just stay there. Screw it. All right. Now we can finally move along here. Please tell me I brought some Nobilis. I did. Okay, good. Because we've got a bunch of poison shit here that needs to be dealt with. And I think, yeah, there's a coal node right there. I don't know if, what quality it is. It is, it's normal. That's what I thought. Okay. There's another normal back down that way too. The nice thing about this one is it's almost directly in line with our road. Okay. Um. Let's, well, can we... I don't think I'm going to tap into that now. Maybe later. 
so yeah we're gonna get into the poison right about there we can uh well no we can't yet but we'll soon be able to make the gas mask all right so let's uh yeah let's get to this out Oh, that tree got blown up. Okay. Well, we don't have to jump down and cut it now. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to get this one here. Let's just go ahead and just get this one, too. That guy's going to shoot boulders at us. Okay, so that clears the area directly above the road. Um, I think that... I think that if you blow those boulders up down there, it's just a pathway that leads down. Because I remember actually setting some miners up here in my last playthrough. If it is indeed the same place, which I think it is. Okay. So, this brings us out into the Crater Lakes biome. It's pretty obvious why it's called the Crater Lakes Bomb, but it's a neat place. And there's also, um, we got a hard drive down there. And I think, uh, I think there's a hard, another hard drive somewhere else too, uh, in this area. And right over there, those two nodes I'm pointing out, those are pure coal nodes. So we're definitely going to tap into those and put them on this road. Uh, yeah, there's the other hard drive, hard drive way over there. So we should go get those at some point. Oh my god, I'm out of plates? You're kidding me. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. <clears throat> um, I'm also damn near out of room, too. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back and get some plates. So I will... I will meet you guys back here, and I think what I'll do is uh, drive back far enough to get to the the first road where we can get on the hypertubes. Oh, might be a good idea to put some fuel in this if we wanted to actually go. How about that idea? Okay, I'll see you guys back here. Just got to make sure I don't make any sharp turns. All right, guys, we are back and uh, ready to continue the road here. So we're going to just span it right across. Um, actually, I wonder if I should drop it down here. Because we're going to also have to drop it down into the into that area, too. No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it high for now. At least until we get over to this end. Go a little, a little more. There's hard drive up there too. All right, so that's uh. Yeah, still not quite to the edge of the cliff there. There's the two quartz thingies straight ahead that way, and the sulfur's down somewhere right down in there. We're really high up here.
but I think I'd rather have one long lift up than multiple lifts up. So yeah, this is just going to be a really high lift. Uh, okay, let's go maybe two more out. Maybe one more out. Nope. Whoops. Put that damn thing away. Probably hurt somebody. That's pretty pretty close there, I think. All right. While we are close to this hard drive, we might as well go grab it. Get a little further back this way. And we'll ramp up there. I don't know what kind of enemies are up there. I do see a hog over there. I see two hogs over there. hitting him or am I hitting the can't really tell oh my god there's a shit ton of hogs up there These are just little ones. <laughs> he would bail it off the side. I keep overshooting because I am expecting him to run and I'm trying to lead the shot there. So we got five circuit boards. Any other bad bads up here? Some wire and cable. Not enough space for cable, it says. All right, well, let's see what this wants. Oh, look at that. We had exactly what it wanted. Um, all right, I'm going to have to to ditch, let's ditch 16 plates for the drive, and then we'll set up our MAM. Um, actually, do I have another drive waiting in here? No, I don't. Okay. I couldn't remember if I did or not. Okay. We'll pick that up, and... Oh, we got some uh, plates here, too. Not enough space for reinforced iron plates. <sighs> we need more inventory space, man. It's kind of neat up here. Be a cool place to have, like, a little house or something. Way up high on top of the world. Okay, well, um, how many plates is that? That's 15 plates. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. I was trying to see if there's anything else in here that's even less valuable than that, but... Okay, we had room for the modular frames. That's good. All right, I'm not going to worry about those plates. in there. Oh, more 
Yeah, more of these. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's... Just nothing I want to throw away. I guess we'll chuck these. It kind of sucks, but... Um, we need room to pick up these foundations because I don't want, you know, crates floating in the air forever. Which is what will happen if we don't pick them up now. All right, so we got that done. Now, um, let's let's keep working on the road for now, and we'll we'll worry about coming back for the hard drives and that sort of thing later. So I think what we'll do here is let's go ahead and bail off. And it's really high up there, isn't it? All right, let's uh, get architecture, small pillar support. It's too high for us to reach from down here. So what we will do is get right about here. And we'll ladder up a bit. Just got to get high, up high enough to make the attachment. Still not, still not high enough. All right, let's go higher. It's like way the hell up there, isn't it? Okay. There we go. Oh, I need uh, zoop mode. I think we need to actually come out even a little more than that now that I look at this. Because what I want to do is I want to run a wall down. What we can do, though, is... Um, let's see here. Foundations. One meter global grid. I want the wall uh, to put the conveyor lifts on. That's what I want. Why I want a wall here. Yeah, I think that's gonna interfere. So we gotta go out one more. All right, let's put a wall there. But I want to change it to concrete. Uh, no. A concrete wall. There we go. As high up as I can go from here. Okay. I should be able to reach the rest of it from from up above. Alright, let's go back up this way. Guys, garden. Hmm. I don't see anything here for them to be guarding unless they're guarding the road. Oh, there's a big boy. <coughs> okay, well, we don't need to go down there right now anyway. Alright, what I want to do here, we'll check this other hard drive. But I want to build a, a spur over to the coal um, and then intersect it with the road here. And then we'll do a, a lift up that way as well. Let's check this drive first. Just little guy's garden, huh? 
Uh, oh yeah, we got to take those motors. Those are valuable. Oh, there's the big brother. These 50 megawatts. All right, let's set up um, two biomass burners. Okay, so we have ourselves two pure coal nodes. One here and uh, where was the other one? Was it over here? Somewhere over here. Well, let's start with this one. Go to my workshop. And uh, I'm going to have to put a couple things down. Let's drop those. And we'll drop those. That should be enough. Because we have to make two portable miners. Excellent. Okay. Let's make two more of these guys. Let's put our light on. I think we'll go this way. Production Mark II Miner based in the right direction. Very good. Now we're just gonna create a temporary thing over here to join it up with this other one. Okay, so these guys aren't gonna be on the same level. You know what though, they could be And then ran over this way. Get rid of all those. Now they'll be on the same level. Come to here. There's a blue slug over that way. Alrighty then. So this one we're going to run up too high. sure we have a mark 3 belt and we want to make sure this is overclocked to 270 so we get the maximum bang for our buck all right Now, we don't need we don't need you guys. We'll bring this down the center.
That's almost right. Almost right smack dab in the middle, but not quite. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually twist this one over a bit. here and I'm gonna run this yeah we'll just run this one in the middle I think no actually let's run let's keep it off to the side just in case we want to do something else with this I don't think we will but you never know okay and you come up to that one there and we want you to, uh, let's see, power shard. No, just one power shard. 270. All right, I actually need you to go over two more. You will go into here with a nice 90. Everything's straight. Looks like it is. All right. So that freed us up a couple slots. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to build... Uh, this road out to uh, out to the wall there and then we'll make a wall to get up there let's see we've got screws and cable there, but I I don't have room for any one, either one of them, so I'm just going to leave them there. There's a doggo. Are there any pale berries around? Oh, uh, yeah, right over here. All right, so... I don't know how close. Uh, oh, I don't know how close I'm supposed. To oh shit! I'm trying to, I'm trying to tame a doggo here. It's bad bats all over the place. I don't know what happens if um. Uh, what's going to happen with? The oh shit! Uh, with the doggo if we. You know, if we're way out over the, the sea there with our base, will he, like, leave that area and go find stuff for us and come back? Or, I don't know. All right, let's just try this. Oh, he's coming over. Hi, buddy. Press E to see if Lizard Doggo has found anything. Uh, doggo with long name. Nice. Okay. So, we're going to call you... Um... We're going to call you Popsicle. There we go. Hi, Popsicle. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, I guess he follows us around and he goes and finds stuff for us. And, um... Hopefully he can make it back to our base. I don't know if he'll be able to or not. That's a long road back. We'll see what happens. All right, so we want to get... right about here, I think. And bring the wall down from up above. Because if I bring it up from down below, it might not be even at the top, and then it'll look jank. 
Okay, so let's grab ourselves a a wall and turn it into a concrete wall. And then players in the way. No, I want to go down off the bottom of that. Oh, oh shit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's one way to do it. <laughs> okay. Let's get this out of here. All right, that worked. Uh, we do need to get rid of that piece there. Yeah, see, that wouldn't have, wouldn't have evened out on that if we would have brought it up from down below, so. Did you find us anything, buddy? Not yet. Okay, Popsicle, you keep looking. Very good. All right, now, um, I think the conveyor line's on the left-hand side. So we will create, uh, or we will build a ladder up here, but we'll keep it up against the wall and over to the right. Okay, I'll finish the rest of that later. Okay, let's get the conveyor line down here. All right, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to put a conveyor pole there and one here. Okay, so this one will... Oh, yeah, we're going to have to... We're going to bring that back out. And I think, yeah, let's take that all the way up. All right, I want those to be even up on top there, so I think that's right. That looks correct. Okay. Where's Popsicle? I just saw him a second ago. Oh, he's off doing his thing. Okay, let's go up. You know, we could come back one just so that it's actually up against the wall because the idea is the wall is supporting it. I think we can come back one. Let's just find out. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, and then this one's got to come down two or was it two or three? I think it was three. All right, I think we got that, that right. Now let's go up. See, now it's like it's actually attached to the wall so the wall can support it. At least that's that's how I think of it. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to attach you here and... You know what? I'm not actually going to worry about the height of those right now. I'll do that. I'll worry about that when we get the, the other lines over here. Last thing we got to do for this section is just get some power going. Um, so I think what I'll do for that is... Let's do a power line here. Um, 
Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll... Oh, it won't hook on the, to the end of this wall. All right, let's get let's get back on the ladder here. Go down a little bit. See how far down we can go. We'll just put it right one. I just don't want it clipping in through the lift there. Is that going to clip? Yes. But what we can do... Yeah, we'll have to move it over like this. Because otherwise it's going to clip through the lifts. And we can't have that. Now, take that down to there. Except for that I don't actually, whoops, don't actually want to do that. What I want to do... I guess we... I'd run the power along the side, but it doesn't really make sense because it would be where someone could run into it. So it's a safety thing and OSHA will be all over my ass if we don't do this correctly. Know what I'm saying? Um, Alright, if I put this here. Yeah, that clips. I'm gonna hold it out one. Can I reach that from here? Look at that. Huzzah! Alright, I think that works. You got something for me, buddy? Not yet? Okay, keep looking. Clipping. It's a beautiful thing. Can we reach all the way over to there from here? Yep. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, everything's set up down here. We just got to get the juice flowing. Um, there is one... There is one possibility here um, that I want to consider. Uh, so if we go over here, is this a, oh, we got three coal nodes over here. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I forgot about this one. I just thought there was the two, but on the other side of that little mountain there, is our first Caterium setup, and we have power running along that road. So we could run power from there instead of all along the road. The only thing about that, though, is in the future, we may want to utilize more of that road we built up there for something else. And I'd almost rather have the power just one consistent line coming down. Alright, if we're gonna if we're gonna bring three thingies of coal up here, we're gonna need a bigger wall. <laughs> um Damn. I mean we're going to all the trouble to come out here to do this. We might as well utilize it. So that means then that we put, we put both of those guys there. 
That's lined up properly. Yeah, this will keep us in coal for a long time. That's, uh, that's level, right? Yeah, it is. I think that power line there was just kind of thrown off my perception. Oh, that's the stuff I threw out earlier. Okay, let's pick it back up now. Now that we have a little bit of room. All right. I think we're in business now. Let's just put a little support on here because it'll make me feel better. There we go. We should have a hard drive uh, ready. No, not a sink. We want a ma'am. Just the facts, ma'am. All right, what do we have here? Alternate steamed copper sheet. Alternate pure copper ingot. Alternate encased industrial pipe. This does four per minute. We're doing um, beams and concrete in our current setup. Let me um, let me look this up real quick. Oh, this is the only other alternate recipe for that. Our recipe produces six per minute. The normal one. Whereas this one only produces four per minute. But it takes less concrete and uses pipes, 28 pipes instead of 24 beams. So it's, the materials are cheaper, but that's not a big deal to us with, you know, with our setup. And I think I would prefer to stick with the six per minute. Okay, so that one's out. This will give us 15 copper per minute. The normal one gives us 30 per minute. However, it's probably a lot cheaper, but it does require a refinery. <sighs> oh, no, this is... Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. It gives us 37 and a half per minute. So it's a little faster. Um, The thing that I like about this, though, is... We get 30 per minute with the normal recipe, and we just need ore and a construct uh, and a smelter, and that's it. So for seven and a half more per minute, and having to use two inputs and a refinery doesn't seem worth it to me. Steamed copper sheet. Okay, same situation. We're using a refinery, and it's 22 per minute. What is the normal recipe on that? Okay, so the normal recipe gives 10 per minute. So this is at least more substantial in terms of how much we get per minute. It uses three copper ingot instead of two and takes water in a refinery for, for a little more than half uh, or twice as much, a little over twice as much. That's not terrible. I mean, I think I think this is definitely the best one out of all of these. Um, but I'm not super thrilled about it either. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to re-roll. I think I'm going to re-roll. I'm just not super excited about any one of those three. Okay. This is going to be one hell of a long episode. <laughs> I'll try and edit it down some, but it's just, it's the nature of this game, man. It's difficult to do your standard 30 minute episodes in this game. I mean, some people manage to do it, but it's just so much to it, you know? And I could, I could cut a bunch of shit out and I, I probably will cut some things out, but I don't like to do that too much. Either, so is what it is. Out of steel beams. Okay. 
Um, well, we'll have to go get back, go get more of those. All right, out in this, is it? Okay, there's a summer sloop way out there. And does this water get deep? Not super deep. There's some quartz. There was a blue slug encased in a some stone back over that way. They would have to blow up. I don't know why I'm doing this. We're going to be tapping into quartz here in a second. Well, a little more in a second, but... All right, we might as well go get that slug. These guys come in the water. They're guarding a big little Sam, a big little, <laughs> a big Sam thingy. There's more quartz. There's more bauxite. But they don't like the deep water. That works in our favor. Gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, there's a yellow slug up there. Oh, there's one of those bastards. There. Suck it, dude. What else is up here? Another really cool place to build like a little vacation home. Maybe we'll do that at some point. No promises, but we'll see. Let's pick some more berries for our buddy. Our buddy Popsicle. All right. Now, um, how much space we got? Eh, we're still doing okay. What we need to do now is go drop, uh, get that wall up there hooked up. And that's going to be an even further drop. And we're going to need to run a total of three conveyor lines because we'll have two quartz. Well, I wonder if I should just merge the quartz. I think I'm... Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to merge the quartz. Because I don't think quartz and sulfur is something we need to come in hard and fast. We need a supply of it, but it's not like we, it's not like coal, you know, where we do need it hard and fast because of the demand for it, you know. Uh, okay, so you go here. Okay, so that's all ready to go once we get power over here. How am I doing on concrete? Uh, we got quite a bit of concrete. Okay. All right, let's go keep working over here. Uh, we need to go over there to and do that hard drive. And there's a couple other potential points of interest, but I don't want to worry about that right at the moment. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Hey, look, there's our original coal mine all the way down there in the valley. Ah, shit. Okay, let's see here. What are we going to do about this? Let's put a ramp going off at the edge of this. And we're going to have to do this over, but hanging it from this side. Make a concrete wall. I mean, I guess we could. We could glitch it in, but I don't think we need to. Okay, I can't 
reach any further down that way. That is a long ways down, man. Where, okay, where's the pillars right here? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, well, I guess we're going to fall off. That's what we're going to do. I wish we had our jetpack. Um, can I quickly go here and here? No, not there. Ah, oh, shit. It's turned the wrong way. God damn it. All right. I gotta go back over here and climb up and run all the way back again. Oh, that little diddly deep thingy that we just heard was the. There's a blue slug there. Um, thought there was a slug over here somewhere. Means the hard drive's ready, I believe. Oh, don't fall off of there. Um, all right, I think. I think I'm going to run the ladder down from there. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Uh, okay, hold on. What I'm going to do here... Excuse me, here is... I'm going to run the thick foundation out just for a... for structural su uh, support of that wall. I know the game doesn't care, but I do. And we'll just make these concrete. Okay. Now, um, we want to... We're going to actually have to remove that for a second. Let's continue running the wall down. This is going to be one hell of a long... A long dealio. Yeah, I can't go down any any lower than that. Yeah, there we go. How'd that happen? Oh, you know what? Did we not finish run? We didn't finish running the wall all the way down. That's why that was like that. All right, I don't remember where we started, so let's just. Yeah, we're gonna have to shit. Well, that's lined up with that foundation. Yeah, I'm just going to let it clip in there a little bit because I don't want to have to redo all of this this part. Well, I guess we could. It's not that big of a deal, is it? Yeah, that's not a big deal. Okay, let's go up a couple of those and then... We'll run these down like this. We're gonna ramp down, but this but this ramp will be um temporary. Just so we can get down there ourselves. direction there. <laughs> Man, that's high. That is just crazy high. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go. Um, I'm going to take a guesstimate on how high we need to be for that quartz. Um, I'm going to guess probably right about here. And let's just put... That's going to be really damn close. I think there's a yellow slug inside that stone over there. Yes, there is. All 
All right, so we're a little bit low. But what this does do for us, though, is it shows us where our line is. So this is a pure quartz, and this is a pure quartz. If you guys have been watching the series all along, we came over here really early on, like many, many episodes ago, on foot. Um, and I grabbed some of this just manually. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get that. We're going to put it on the global grid. Now we need to put down... Um, let's check our, our blueprint. I don't want alternate bio coal. Alternate pure quartz, alternate fused quick wire. That gives us 90 per minute. I think the normal recipe gives us 60, but the, it also only needs one Kateria more and, and not five copper. So not, not worth it, in my opinion. Um, this would require a refinery, and it would give us 52.5 per minute. But the question on that is, do we really need to produce that much of this stuff? Maybe we do. I don't know. I don't think we do. Let me look at something here. All right, so this alternate recipe, the normal recipe produces 22 and a half per minute with five quarts. This one requires nine quarts and water and a refinery for 52 and a half. So we, we get twice as much, over twice as much. Um, we may, this makes crystal oscillator, shatter rebar, radio connection units, and signs. I just don't think we need to mass produce this stuff for those things. The crystal oscillator. Does that need to be mass produced? Radio control. Uh, okay. Pulse novelist, radio control unit, crystal beacon, crystal computer, which is an alternate recipe. Okay. Uranium fuel unit, explorer, billboard, radar, radar tower, small billboard. So the crystal computer alternate recipe makes computers, and we probably are going to need to mass produce those later on. We are on the water. So I'm going to take this just because it might come in handy later. All right, let's scan the next hard drive. All right, we need to put down a workshop to make a, a miner. I'm just going to make this a, a level one uh, or a tier one miner for now. And if it turns out that we need uh, to up our production to this, we can always upgrade it in the future. Okay, so that's our real road. This is our railroad. That was our real road. Actually, no, but we will be making railroads later. Let's get the other miner set up, but I might not actually hook it up for now. Mark one miner. All right, we're going to have to remove that and look at the quartz get that to set right all right we don't even need these trying to think okay so we're running our conveyor line on the right hand side of the other road i think right yes we are okay so that's what we're going to do here too that is what we are going to do here That looks fine. Okay, let's run this. To here. And we want 
two of these. I want three of these. And the reason being is because we're going to run this quartz now and the sulfur down there now. This one we'll do later, so that's why I want it on the third level. Let's get this yellow slug out of here. Oh shit, can I just reach it from here? I can. We don't even have to waste an obelisk. That wasn't handy. All right, the final. Well, not the final. There's a shit ton of work left to do, but the last thing we're going to do in this episode, and then I'll do the rest of that, that shit ton of work off camera. Is that our, our popsicle or is that a different guy? I think it's a different guy. How many popsicles? Yeah, he's different. How many popsicles can you have? <laughs> okay, hard drive's done. Uh, special ma'am. Alternate cheap silica. The alternate pure copper ingot once again an alternate steel rotor producing five per minute. Okay, we already have um, one of the alternate rotor recipes. I don't remember exactly what its production rate is, though. Yeah, we have the copper rotor, which produces 11.25 per minute. Uses six copper sheeting and screws. The steel rotor only does five per minute, which is only one more than the normal recipe, which does four per minute. And it uses steel pipe and wire. Yeah, I think our copper rotor is um, the better one. And now, now that I look at that, if that copper sheet alternate recipe pops up again, I'll take it. Because then we can use it, uh, you know, use it for for our copper uh, rotor. So, all right, um, this this causes us, or yeah, forces us to in, include limestone and quartz in an assembler to make twenty six point two five per minute of silica. What does the normal recipe do? The normal recipe gives us. 37 and a half per minute in just three quarts. That's it. So again, I don't, that, that's one I don't get. I mean, why would you do that? <laughs> You're using the same amount of quarts plus five limestone plus an assembler to make 26.25 per minute instead of 37.5 per minute. Yeah, I, that one I don't get. I, I literally can't fathom why anybody would ever do that. Um, if you, you know, if it if it used less quartz, that would be one thing, but it doesn't. It uses the same amount of quartz as the normal recipe. Um, we we already said we didn't really we weren't a big fan of that. Okay, so yeah, we're re, we are re-rolling this one. So this is our real road. And it looks like we're already down far enough on our wall. And it also looks like I won't have to cut down that magnificent tree, which is amazing. And let's bring this back up to there. Since I already stripped half the forest earlier anyways. <laughs> Um, okay, so that doesn't quite work out. But I think I'm okay with that. What I am going to do, though, is... 
put the thick foundation in here and embed it into the cliff wall for support. There. Now it's supported. <laughs> we could we could just clip that in. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just clip that in. And since this was a... F well, I don't know. I, I'm not going to worry about that, I don't think. Okay, since I can't run my conveyor lifts, uh, all I'm going to do is just run run the road up here and then we got to wrap up this episode okay so let's see I know that the sulfur is just right down there somewhere yeah right down there oh oh there's two what are their oh that's an impure that's a normal okay what oh there's another one up here that's a normal as well. There it is. That's the impure. Okay. Uh oh, something's chasing us. Just a little guy. Where'd you go? Can't see him. All right, let's uh, let's get the big one or the the better one set up first. So put that on the global, and we need to make a portable miner. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> we don't have rods for that. Oh, no. All right. Well, here's the deal then, guys. Um, I'm going to go uh, all the way back to the base, which is a fucking hell of a long ways away from here. And, oh, loose slug. I don't, I don't really want to build the road yet until I know exactly which way the miner's facing. Uh, my guess is it'll they'll probably go you know somewhere like right out here but I'm gonna wait till I know for sure and then I'm just gonna simply build the road um, directly west and then you know just a little wall up to intersect it with the main road so that is the plan all right guys well that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and when I come back in the next episode this should all be finished and I'll, I'll show you the end result of it see ya bye bye